Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and today we're going to be reviewing the fresh new Bang & Olufsen BioPlay Portal Gaming Headset. Yes, it is actually a gaming headset. A super premium one, no less, and the first in the fresh new Designed for Xbox Limited series lineup. It's essentially a new category of Xbox accessories that's designed exclusively for rich morphos. The BioPlay Portal works with Xbox Series S, Series X and Xbox One consoles and it'll be launching in the UK very soon indeed for 440 49 quid, making it rather hilariously the same cost as that Xbox Series X console, or at least the same cost if you manage to actually find it in a f***ing shop rather than off of sod on eBay. Now I've been testing the Bang & Olufsen BioPlay portals as my full-time gaming headset on the Xbox Series X as well as my full-time music headphones as well just to see how it works in both departments. So here's my full BioPlay portal review and for more than the latest greatest tech please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now first up the BioPlay portal certainly don't look like any gaming headset I've ever reviewed in my 10 plus years of being a tech reviewer. They certainly look more like a premium pair of headphones than a gaming headset and that's helped immensely by the lack of garish logos and pointless RGB efforts. You can grab them in a choice of black, white or very dark blue and all three look rather snazzy indeed. And yeah the BioPlay portals are rather big, they certainly look immensely huge on my baldy bonts anyway but the good thing is that they weigh less than 300 grams they're nice and comfortable to rock all afternoon long which is especially helpful if you're working your way through that xbox gold lineup and there's plenty of padding to help out with the comfort levels as well on the actual cups as well as the inside of that headband now with the Bluetooth 5.1 connectivity, pairing up the BioPlay portals with your Xbox console is an absolute piece of piss. Even a child could do it in just a minute or two. And then once the two are hooked up as well, all you've got to do to pair them up in the future is just press this little pairing button here on the left cup and the two hook up in seconds job done. Now with the Xbox wireless support built in, you can expect lossless audio between the headset and the console. And I found that this was a perfectly stable connection too, even with lots of other wireless gear knocking about, as long as you don't stream too far from the console. But then why would you? And you've also got USB-C line-in support here on the BioPlay portals as well if you prefer that to the wireless connection and you can use that to hook up to other consoles like the PS5 as well but bear in mind that you do lose out on some of the key features of the portals like the Dolby Atmos support so you will have to put up with substandard audio. These things are definitely designed for Xbox owners. Now you do have a limited selection of physical controls when you are streaming media from your smartphone or whatever as well so basically just double tap either cup to pause your music while it's playing and then resume it again if you're already paused just remember not to clutch the cup and tap like I was doing because that definitely throws off the sensitivity you want to be doing a tap like so and annoyingly there's no way to skip a track or skip ahead in an audiobook or anything by swiping anything like that if you want to do that you just have to bite the bullet and pull your phone out of your pocket but I did enjoy the very responsive slider housed on that right cup which can be used to raise or lower the volume and you get the same style of slider over on the left cup but this time it swaps between between the ANC mode and the awareness mode. And I've got to say that ANC is pretty handy for helping to blot out your nagging family members who are telling you to get off your ass and actually contribute something to society. However I've got to say that I did find the noise cancellation here on the BioPlay portals wasn't as strong as on a lot of rivals like Sony's XM4s and even much cheaper rivals like Anker's Soundcore Life Q30s. You know if you're on a busy high street or something the uh, traffic noise and noise of just general populace will definitely seep through these things a lot more easily even when you crank up the ANC to maximum levels. If you want to you can download the Bang & Olufsen app which can be used to control every aspect of the headphones and also update the firmware when needed. From here you can control the uh, level of the active noise cancellation and you get some simple equaliser settings as well. Occasionally the app can go a bit schizo and just like refuse to connect to your headphones or something random like that and it's certainly not as in-depth as some rival uh, headphone apps but you know it's there if you want it. I've got to say the sound quality from the BioPlay portals when I was just rocking out to some metal or whatever was absolutely sublime. Absolutely every part of that range from the lows to the highs is beautifully represented. You can hear every tiny little detail seeping on through. And obviously that's what you'd expect from a pair of headphones this bloody expensive but damn it's easily just as strong for sound quality as the likes of those Sony's that I mentioned earlier. But of course it's when you're using the portal as a gaming headset that it really starts to shine. You've got full app 
Haptex adaptive support, and of course Dolby Atmos surround sound for supported games, which really pulls you into whatever you're playing. It's absolutely bloody terrifying when you're playing some creepy ass title where things sneak up on you and do scary sh** whenever your back's turned. And of course that surround sound experience isn't just great for putting the willies up you when you're enjoying a good old scary horror romp, it's also going to mean the difference between life and death, rousing victory and crushing defeat when you're playing a fast paced online action game, something like Call of Duty. You'll notice that there's no actual microphone sticking out of the BO Player portals, that's because it uses what Bang & Olufsen has termed a virtual boom arm in order to pick up on your voice. And this comprises six individual mics which are scattered about the headset which pick up on every golden nugget of advice that you offer your teammates as you charge together into battle, or every sick burn that you scream at your opponents as you gun them down in a hill of hot lead. And if at any point you want to uh, pause the feed for a wee break or something, well, just do that double tap again and that will mute your mics. As for the battery life, well, Bang & Olufsen promises 12 hours of full-on Xbox in action, otherwise 24 hours if you're just going to be connecting to your smartphone or whatever via Bluetooth and listening to a bit of music, podcasts, what have you. And in my test, I found that was pretty accurate. I was certainly charging them up at least a couple of times a week, unlike some rivals, uh, which can keep you going all week long on a single charge, but it's really not bad at all, especially given some of the super premium tech packed inside of these things. And when you want to recharge, well, no worries, just slap in the Type-C charging cable, which is bundled in the box. That can also be used as a line-in uh, Type-C cable as well, and they'll be fully powered up again in about sort of two, two and a half hours. And so that is what I think. That's my full final review of the BO Play Portal Bang & Olufsen gaming headset after using it as my full-time music headphones, as well as my Xbox headset for a couple of weeks now. And I've got to say, I really, really, really like them, but you'd kind of hope that I would do for 400 50 quid. Of course, it goes without saying that far cheaper alternatives are available, but if money ain't a thing, then definitely give them a go because the sound quality is absolutely fantastic for your music. You can rock them on the high street without feeling like a complete dildo. And then, of course, when you get back home, just slap on your Xbox and away you go. So, what do you reckon about the BO Play portals? Be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.